Now in the first part of this question, you'll notice that I have defined a random variable x. Let x be the random variable length of a stick in centimeters, where we're told that the lengths of these sticks form a continuous uniform distribution over the interval 7 to 10. So I've said where x is distributed uniformly over that interval 7 to 10. So a stick is selected at random from the box and we've got to find the probability that that stick is shorter than 9.5 centimeters. So to do something like this, what I'd want to do is, first of all, just draw a sketch of the probability density function. And uh, that probability density function is going to look something like this. Our axis here is going to be x, and then here we've got f of x. And we're going between 7 and 10, so I'll just mark 7 there, 10 there. It's not drawn to scale, but uh, hopefully gives you an idea. So our probability density function would be a line that is horizontal here, okay? And we could come straight down there to the 7 and the 10, and it's 0 otherwise. So there's our probability density function. Now we're going to need to know what this value is here. And to do that, we should be aware that the area under the graph here comes to 1. So it's the area of this rectangle, which must equal 1. The width of the base here is 3 units from 7 to 10. So it's got to be 3 times a third up here, which would give you 1. So this is going to be a third. And this is the key to this, really, because now that we've got to find the probability that x is less than 9.5, then where's 9.5 going to be on this rectangle? Well, it's going to be, say, somewhere over here. As I say, it's not drawn to scale, but uh, if this is 9.5, then that probability is given by that area to the left of the 9.5. So it's going to be equal to the height, one third, multiplied by the width from 9.5 to 7. I'll just write 9.5 minus 7 there, okay? Which is going to be a third then of 2.5. And if you work that out, you get exactly 5 sixths. Okay, so there's that probability for you.